December 2nd, Yellowstone ground tearing apart is being tracked actively by scientists in the USGS. As we look here, they're mapping the geo fields as we speak. This is a new update after the update where they said to see how the ground moves in Yellowstone, first look at the rest of North America. And this right here shows the motion that is happening. And we're not just going to look into this. We're going to look into some strange things that eyewitnesses have seen in Wyoming. Same stress fault plates where Yellowstone location is, except for this is just a little further back. And what is going on with the military having these drills, the Navy, uh, and with these preparedness drills, it's earthquake drills. And they're saying that they're preparing and training to improve reaction to no notice disaster events. This is going to be something very important for us to pay attention to, because as this transpires, we're going to start to see a lot more information uh, quietly coming out here. And I've been looking behind the scenes for you as far as what is Wyoming military doing. Uh, they've talked about in August 15th, Aero Medical uh, pretty much evacuations and pretty much getting people on these uh, planes and stuff like that. So check this out right here. I want you to see what they say. They're preparing as well. Wyoming Guard exercise bills readiness for Aero Medical evacuation teams. And when you look deeper into the evacuation team, it says, this exercise builds confidence and said whether it's responding to a mass casualty event and natural disaster or deploy mission. We now have a deeper understanding of how to work as one to save lives. This information coming out about the spreading and tearing of Yellowstone's ground. We want to pull you a little bit deeper into this information here, because like we said, they're still tracking this live. September 2nd, 2025. Here is the GPS data proving that geobase data entry sample of the Lava Creek turf is a result. And they're showing all the Yellowstone calderas and they're looking at this thing in active time because they know that something here has shifted on the geological areas. And let's go into this resident, though, because he's a little bit further down. We're going to go on some maps. we got to like dive a little bit deeper so we can understand what's going on. We'll get back to the military here in a second. First. Let's read this and then we're going to take you to some other maps and we'll talk to you about what's going on with this. So stay tuned. But let's look at this first area here where the Yellowstone deformation area is, because if we look at this, we can get a further insight. And right here in Riverton is actually where the first huge cracks start to happen in Wyoming. And that was a while back as far as uh, 2015 when they first started talking about these huge cracks was opening up. The interesting thing is, though, we didn't get any more information since 2015. But with these residents, we can now look at a closer date in 2024 uh, and look at what happened with this guy on his property. Uh, let's look at this here because this is important to the picture at hand. And this is the area where the ground is shifting the map i just showed you is actually in around this zone so check this out comes down here crosses our road here this is all sinking in here that it's literally moving you can see it across all the way through there all the way on that hillside how deep that is that's probably a good two feet deep like it just up earth down but that's not even the wildest part i gotta take a step back to show you That's our road. It moved about five feet that way. All right, guys. So we just investigated that, and that was right off of that map here where we just looked at it in the zone where they've USGS has pulled it out and said we have ground shifts happening. 
that was off towards Wyoming, close to that Riverton area. Now, for you tuning in right now, subscribe, stay tuned. We'll give you all updates. The interesting thing about this is they didn't want people really to know much more about this because we looked into the comment section of this video and they said, I've uh, been thinking of this video for a while. Has it changed since you post this? The guy stopped posting vids after the feds stepped in. So why does the feds need to stop him uh, from showing these huge cracks that is along fault areas that's in Wyoming? That's interesting. And I looked all over and the guy has no more post up at all about this. So I think they don't want information uh, to pretty much be widespread here or maybe something else is going on. What do you think? Now, moving a little bit further here into the scenario at hand, let's read about this. What's happening with the plates moving GPS station velocities in Western USA show a global left. North America is the right reference. The direction and length of each arrow shows where the station is moving over time and how fast the global reference time frame shows overall motion of North American plate. North American reference theme removes the overall plate motion. So you can see towards San Andreas. Cascadia subduction zone, uh, earth scope consortium figure show how the plates are literally moving off. And that would be like over time into the Pacific, these earthquakes actually show us a little bit more of why these things start to shift with all the crust and the magma shift as well. We got to get back to the military though, uh, because the magma shift is one thing, but let's talk about this uh, right here. So this is Nevada. Nevada is about two states over from Idaho. The interesting thing is, is we got to read to you about what the Navy was just doing. So it wasn't long ago. A lot of people didn't get information on this. Citadel Rumble is part of a nationwide Navy drill that provides training to military personnel to improve reaction to no notice disaster events. No notice. That's interesting. It also serves as a reminder to military families how to prepare for and where to find Navy resources should an actual major disaster occur, according to officials. Oh, yeah, there's no video footage of this exercise, everybody. So it's clearly for just military families. They clearly state that. Now, let's read a little bit further. The Navy executed on August 5th Citadel Rumble exercise, which was part of a nationwide Navy drill that provided training and improved reaction to disaster events such as an earthquake. Basically, the base itself, emergency service and training unit set up a mock earthquake drill, a natural disaster, said Gavin Graham, the base's public affairs officer. Why can't we get a little bit of information on that? Can we see a little bit of what y'all did? Oh, absolutely not. There was no video out. I looked everywhere. Give us a thumbs up if you're alive right now and you haven't heard anything about this information. Now, the huge key steps we need to watch for as the plate shift and as the magma goes towards northeast we need to really watch these areas here because i looked at the u.s geological survey volcano science center response plan and they have a team called overt and they just put that team in during july for the yellowstone now if we start seeing these observatory areas here either one shut down or either start giving less information on this even more we can start to see some patterns that might mean that something more significant is at play here. So the response that we're getting right now about this plate motion and the movement of it, how is this really a huge shift right now? And is there magma movements underground? That's what we're going to be looking at over the next course of weeks, days and months. And the stress we've seen in the heat map we put up. Appreciate that super chat, Michelle. And in a heat map we put up, this is where one of the areas was a drip zone was going on. It was a blue area here. This was a drip zone where underneath the crust, there was supposed to be rock dripping in this portion of the United States. So we're going to be continuously monitoring this because with this deformation, this is going to be a huge deal uh, moving forward. So I want to read a little bit more about this, though, uh, that I didn't read um, underneath this area where they're actively monitoring this. So Montana State University researchers recording data at outcrop um, Yellowstone National Park and that student Lil Willer overlays the G GPS position of the outcrop over a geologic map produced by USGS geologist Robert Christensen, an undergraduate student. They're at Yellowstone mapping it out literally. And this is a huge story here. Uh, definitely like, share, and if you want more information on this, that 
is not probably widespread right now because a lot of people don't really see the situations that I'm digging up. And there's a lot of stuff that need to be dug up over time. But as we continue to dig this up, we're going to be getting more information in on all the currents and everything else that's coming. Now, what I put out, which is a huge story. Now, something's happening off the coast of Alaska. This really ties into what's happening for everybody. And if you don't think this affects you, it does, because we have some material that's potentially hazardous for sure. And our largest supply of food, we have heard that the shrimp is radioactive. I'm going to drop this in live chat. And I talked about this yesterday and how it affects everybody. Mystery, uh, next mystery hazardous containers emerge in Alaska. Coast Guard warns. Uh, we'll have that on the left hand side over there. But this story right here, we're going to continue to update you. Subscribe, stay tuned, tell more people about it. And we're going to get watch zones, danger zones. What else can we look for? We're going to be looking at heat maps. We're going to go into every single piece so that you and your family can be educated and know about the situation. So I appreciate you all. Please share.